up guys, Inigami here, and let's go through Treasure Map Weevil on the Japanese version of One Piece Treasure Cruise. Treasure Map Weevil, let's first of all let's talk about what he does. He is a Psy Striker Slasher. His captain ability, pretty decent. Slasher characters get an attack boost based off of your health value. If you're at full health, you get a 3, 2, 5 times attack. If you're at 1 health, you only have a 1 times attack, so you want to keep at full health of him. And he also boosts Slasher health by 1.35 times, so pretty good health boost and pretty good attack boost. His special ability, really, really, really nice. His special ability is one of the best we've had in a treasure map. Uh, reduces attack down duration by 20 turns. Very, very useful. The longest free-to-play attack down reducer we've had until now is Ambush Linlin, and now we have Weevil to make it a much easier to get attack down on your team. So 20 turns of attack down. Adds 300 times his attack as additional typeless damage to his own attack for two turns. So that's the same kind of special as Sabo or Treasure Map Shanks, only to his own attack. But it is basically a 500,000 damage boost to his own damage. So you can basically just imagine he says he boosts his own damage for about 500,000 for two turns. And if enemies have all debuff protection or delay prevention, he boosts the attack of all characters by two times. So that's a full uh, universal two times attack boost, assuming they have debuff protection or delay protection, and an additional 500 times attack to himself. Really, 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 really nice. His special goes down to a 14 turn cooldown. His limit break abilities give him crit hit and give him no healing reduction. And his support ability supports any slashers. Once, whenever you get to the final stage, he adds 120 times his attack as additional typeless damage to the supported character for one turn. So that's about 150 times damage to one character to whoever he's supporting for one turn. Pretty decent support ability, especially if you're bursting on that first turn. The treasure map layout's pretty much the same. We'll get over to the first one, and then we'll continue from there. Treasure map buggy. Buggy starts with 100,000 hit points. Not very much health at all. We're going to be using a double big mom team versus this fight. Absolutely don't need double big mom. The reason I want to use double big mom is that uh, buggy is going to have five hit perfect barrier for 50 turns. And then that's basically it. He attacks every turn for like 3,000 damage to start. But a 5 hit perfect hit barrier, which is going to be really, really, really annoying to deal with. You can use a team like a Cerebral or Powerhouse team with Zenitra Chip to help yourself hit perfects. You can use shooters with barrier penetration. My Capone has barrier penetration on it, so you can always just barrier pen through that barrier. If you use Legend Big Mom, though, Legend Big Mom does uh, go through barriers when she's enraged. So I'm not going to eat any recovery orbs while we go through here. And so let big moms get big and angry. And then their auto attacks will just kill Buggy. And I won't have to use any specials for a while. And then whenever Buggy does get more health and big moms can kill, I can use Ace to go the attack boost. I can still attack because Capone will still go through the barrier. Speed Jill, Jozu are here only because I want proficiency points on them. Speed Jill special. Only reduces barriers by one turn, and so that's not really going to help. Replace them with whoever you'd like. You can even use a Dex character and use that big mom ship on this team, but I am using the Vander Decken ship to get that extra EXP. Bye bye. And we get to Buggy. Like I said, 5 hit perfect barrier for 50 turns, nothing else special. Uh, and even now, just because how early it is, Capone still just straight up kills Buggy. So it's going to be a very, very long time before you need anything on this team. Good stuff. Treasure Map Mihawk has 700,000 hit points to start. We're going to be using a Slasher team versus Mihawk. Uh, we have a bunch of characters on here that you absolutely don't need. We're going to use, ideally, Friend Mihawk, who I don't have anymore. So I'll just use double Fuji team. The reason I want Fred Mihawk is just because he gives me uh, more points on this team than not. Rare Recruit Ryuma is nice because he will give us the attack boost and orb boost on this team. Kidamon is so that way we can reduce our cooldowns. 
But I'm not gonna get to the point with this team where I can actually reduce my Rumors cooldown without having to stall, and I'm too lazy to stall, especially since it's early on. Once you get Weevil's Limit Break and actual special cooldown reduction, you could use Weevil to give yourself the two times attack boost on your team, which is what I will be doing later. Brook will give us a health cut that goes, or give us damage that goes through barrier, not a health cut. He just does damage through barrier. He does give end of turn health cut, so if you don't kill Mihawk in one turn, that will help. And he also gives int damage negation, which sort of matters because on death, Mihawk will deal damage to your team. Uh, 1.5 times attack damage to your team in int damage, since when he dies, he'll revive to full health. Deal 1.2 times his attack. Sorry, 1.2 times his attack in int damage to your team. But that really shouldn't matter for this team. Like, there's no way you're getting to that low health unless you, like, somehow mess up your attacks terribly, terribly, terribly early on and, like, accidentally get to, like, no hit points left. But that really isn't going to happen. I am also using... Zoro as my support so I can get affinity boost on my slashers. He can use Zoro on this team instead of using it as a support so you can get that better slasher affinity boost. Uh, Brook deals some damage and also negates int damage. And even though Mihawk revives, he doesn't do anything after the revive. So if my Ryuma special were ready, I would use that to get an attack boost and an orb boost. But he revives, he turns in, and then he deals damage to us based on 1.2 times his attack. He only starts at 4,400. So it's going to take a lot of runs for that to ever even become slightly threatening. I don't think it ever really will until you hit the heat death in the universe. And that's it. He has a chain reduction, so Fujitora's chain lock helps. He has good hit barrier. Which Fujitora has to hit a good anyway, so you want to get his full captain boost. Against Kuma. Kuma has resilience. There's a few ways you can handle resilience. You could use Raid Boss Barto, who gets re resilience for you. You could use Smoothie Oven, whose end of turn damage will kill him through resilience. You could use the uh, the Dreadnought Saber Ship, like I'm using right now. That's Dreadnought Saber Ship? Yeah, you can use Dreadnought Saber Ship, like I'm using right now, whose end of turn damage will kill Kuma. But the reason I'm using Dreadnought Saber is because it gives me 1.5 times health. And we're using a double Big Mom team, who's special. Well, we're just going to kill him with special damage for a while. So it's double Big Mom, and literally everyone else on this team that I couldn't find a good spot for on other teams. So this is just a hodgepodge of characters who didn't really fit on my other teams, and I wanted points on them. And Whitey Bay, who I just want Limit Break points on. So very, very easy team to make. All you need is treasure map. Or no, raid boss. Raid boss big mom. I said treasure map big mom a few times, huh? Raid boss big mom is what that is. You can use her as a sub on a team with captains that boost your health. Like you use double jack if you'd like, because jack special will also do some damage. You can use smoothie oven captain and just have big mom on the team. A lot of options for how you deal with Kuma. But I like having a double big mom team right now. Because then I don't really have to attack. If you uh, use an orb manipulating special, then he will make your orbs count as badly matching for six turns and blind you. So be careful of you using orb manipulating specials. And if his less than, health is less than 20%, then he will heal up to 30% of his max health. He also has poison, all poison prevention, so you can't use strongly poison, regular poison, or toxic against him. Just kill him with end of turn damage or with uh, special damage with my big mom. And right now it's still pretty early on, so big mom still kills him without me needing extra health. He starts off with 500,000 hit points. Eventually, we'll get to the point where one Big Mom special isn't going to be enough. I'll use two, then I'll use three, then I'll use four. Each one doing less and less damage because my health is going to get cut in half every time. I could use a healer on this team. Like, I could put Barto back on this team. So that way Barto can heal me back up and I can get more damage out of Big Mom special. It's a lot of different options to really make this team last a lot longer. 
Next we have Hancock. Hancock is quick. We're going to be using a Zoro Sanji team. Very, very good. And the big thing on this team is using either Legend Brook or using uh, Raid Boss Fujitora, using uh, Colosseum Shiryu. Somebody who helps kill a bunch of fodder units because the mini boss on this stage or not the mini boss but the stage six on this stage is going to be five units with perfect hit barriers it's easy to auto attack through them like they only attack they don't all attack turn one they're just a bunch of amazon girls so their health isn't that high but having someone who deals damage through barriers will make it a lot easier so raid boss fuji is sai so go, he goes on this team, and we'll go through barriers. Colosseum Shiryu, although doesn't work with Sanji Zoro captains, will instant kill that stage, or should instant kill that stage if you have him leveled up in Cotton Candy. So that's not a problem either. But some way that gets through those barriers, because they will be very annoying. I like to have Zoro captains for most of the time, because the first few stages are... No, the first few stages are mostly blue. Then you get to this stage that's red and purple, so we'll swap back to Sanji. Having Nami and Perona are very nice. Having Hyozu is a nice way to ignore the silence that will happen later. And we'll leave ourselves on Sanji on this stage, because we'll swap over to the Zoro form, get the chain boost, and get the better captain ability by using their specials. Hancock preemptively clears buffs, prevents delay, paralyzes your entire team for three turns, and silences three random characters for three turns, which is why Rare Hyozu is nice to have. But even without Hyozu, you'll be fine. Oh, hey, right, he also lets me manipulate orbs. Boom, boom, boom. He also gets rid of the blindness, she'll blind for seven turns, which isn't really a problem since she doesn't have barrier. Uh, I'm getting rid of my own orbs like this. Whoops. Bad plan there. Don't... I don't actually want to use Perona special. Perona's here just for points. But whatever. There you go. Hard fight, right? Later on, you can swap out that Perona for someone who gives you uh, type boost, affinity boost, something like that. Uh... Raid boss, Judge, gives you a nice affinity boost and is boosted this time around. Bunch of different characters you can swap in. Once again, it's all about getting as many points as you can for treasure map while using whichever characters you have. And finally, versus the last stage, we're going to be fighting Weevil. There is no ambush on this fight, which you may have noticed. But Weevil does start at higher points than the older treasure maps did. Older treasure maps start at about 5,000-ish points for the final boss. This time he started at 8,000, so it's a lot nicer. Using a Marco Friend Captain, who is really, really nice. Marco Friend Captain actually has one of the best uh, treasure map boosting captain abilities we've had. He actually is just a 2 point... He actually gives 2.5 times attack, whereas a lot of old treasure map boosting captains gives like a 1.5 times attack or something weak like that. He actually is a 2.5 times attack captain, so that's nice. Otherwise, I'd use Double Smoothie Oven. Just swap Smoothie Oven to let their end of turn damage kill these stages. Don't need to do any work. AO and Kizaru are very nice to have if you happen to pull them. Otherwise, you'll want to use a Attack Down Remover. Really is the big one. Attack Down Removal to help you get through stage 6. Mini Boss Weevil. Otherwise, you're going to have to stall him a few turns to wait out the attack down that he'll be giving you. Weevil will also despair your team, so you want to bring a despair mover. That's what our friend Marco is for. And he will also have four turns of damage threshold that you want to get rid of, which friend Marco, once again, is great at. So having a friend Marco for the final stage is going to make a huge difference if you can get them, use them every single time that you can. So stage 6, mini boss Weevil, he's going to lower our attack by half 4 turns, and he's also going to silence, no, yeah, silence any red, green, or blue characters for 5 turns. So avoid using red, green, blue characters if you can, or if you're using Smoothie Oven like me, make sure you move, swap into Smoothie 
instead of swapping into oven. And then you'll avoid that silence. Uh, on this team, I actually want to use Rare Recruit Haruta instead of Kuma here, just to have another int character, but flip my mind. It's totally fine. Kuma isn't doing anything here for us since we do have Marco to get rid of the Despair and to get rid of the four turns of damage threshold. Raid Boss Zora once again as an Affinity Booster. We are gonna swap over to Smoothie. We're gonna use Marco to get rid of the Despair, get rid of the damage threshold. Ao gets rid of the barrier. He will get one random barrier. So he always has that damage threshold, but Weevil will give himself one random barrier, either 25 hit barrier for one turn, four hit perfect barrier for one turn, or three Psy Orb barrier for one turn. If you don't have Ao, highly recommend Raid Boss Blackbeard. Very, very good. He's also purple, so he helps out with this stage. And if you are using Kuma, and you have, uh, then you can do Kuma special, give yourselves recovery orbs, and then do uh, Hero Look special, who makes those recoveries into matching. Then we have type boost, orb boost, affinity boost, all the good stuff. There you go. I've been Zenigami, guys. That is Treasure Map Weevil. Weevil is the hardest fight out of here. All the other mini bosses, not too difficult. It's mostly just the Weevil that's going to be giving you a hard time. And it's going to make a huge difference if you have a friend Marco or not. Or, of course, your own Marco. So if you have Marco or if you have a friend Marco, using them will make a huge, huge, huge difference. The AO and Kizaru, very replaceable. All revolves on that Marco to get rid of not only the damage threshold, but also the despair. And give yourself a uh, type boost as well. I've been Zinigami. Good luck. Thank you so much for watching. Y'all stay beautiful.